This may not come as a surprise, but I went and watched Barbie. Now, I had very low expectations on Barbie. I didn't think it was going to be a good movie by any means. I thought it was going to be, you know, a bad movie that you can actually laugh at and actually think it was going to be a fun, bad experience. But, man, I was so wrong. This movie is virtually bad in nearly all aspects. I was going to do a normal review talking about this movie, but genuinely when I walked out of the cinema, I was just really shocked of just how much time this film wasted on. And for all the hype that this movie had, that everyone was going crazy about this, this movie is one of the biggest lies I have ever seen. Like watching the trailers, when you see the the trailer of this film, you thought it was going to be a fun, bad movie, Barbie and Ken. They try to get together to the real world from Barbie, la- Barbie land. And things would look a bit different in their sort of alternate world. But pff, this movie is certainly not that. And the 90% ratings you see on Rotten Tomatoes is by far the biggest lie ever. This movie is objectively awful. And it doesn't stand out on its two feet whatsoever. But the main thing I will argue what this movie really suffers from is just how boring it really is. I mean, this movie really doesn't have anything funny or comedic at all. It's, the comedy is really, really bad. I mean, first of all, I don't know what sort of comedy they try and play out. If it's just they want to view men as bad, you know, women have to rule society, take over everything that men on men would do in their jobs. Because... Clearly, that's not really something that would be funny. Maybe I could be the wrong audience. I don't know. But certainly, I've had times where maybe certain movies, I would have been the wrong audience. Maybe the, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Lots of people really liked that movie and thought that it was good, really good for kids to watch. And I can certainly understand that. Because obviously, you watch Mario is very colorful. They really uh, replicate Mario very, very well. And I can see why a lot of people enjoy it. The only problem for me, why I wasn't enjoying it as much as other people might is because well it didn't really have a story and i felt at times it didn't really center on the main character mario but kind of pushed for more princess peach's character more but it it didn't really feel like anything that you would have felt that you would talk down to or anything that was deemed to be um, patronizing but everything that you watch in barbie is really really patronizing and really just doesn't distort yourself from the real world so let me let me kind of explain this everything about barbie that this film tries to portray is basically men are evil that's that's really the whole story of this movie and that's it but men are bad all the kens in barbie land are bad you know in barbie land it's literally a, a land that's really run by women you know women are lawyers women are construction workers women are doctors women run the constitution like it, literally that's what it is and basically then Barbie finds out that hey I'm not the typical stereotypical Barbie I need to go and find my stereotypicalness in somewhere else so and they say you need to go to the real world which is basically the world we live in essentially so she goes there she gets along with Ken paid by Ryan Gosling who I don't know how he got paid to do this role but he he really does look like the typical person that would feel like they are the true bastardization of what really being a man is and you can't feel proud being a man um so he comes along with uh, barbie they go to the real world and basically they're like oh my god why are all these men staring at me i feel frightened i feel scared Whoa, look at all these men staring at me Blech. that's that's literally what the theme of this film is and it's just unbelievably bad like they really do treat men as the devils as like you you can't you know be a woman in normal society because you won't feel protected by men it's just really really bad like every single scene that they try and play a joke where they try and bastardize men or use you know patriarchy as the theme that they use in this movie which they did constantly i actually think that was really the main logistics of this movie is just focusing on patriarchy and my god it's really really hard to watch i i I honestly think if this was really what they would have really promoted in the trailer about patriarchy men are evil and all those sort of stereotypes of men that are bad and why we can't use men in society in today because we have to promote you know and push for more 
you know, female empowerment, female entitlement, and all those sort of things, this movie would completely flop massively. But obviously, they wouldn't do that in a trailer because, heck, why would people watch it? So now I'm going to tell you what this movie really was, what I watched, and it's a complete lie. So yeah, let's just have a look at these reviews, and I think these are the ones that kind of stuck up the most, so I'm just going to read it out. This film was incredibly depressing, with very passive-aggressive writing. This should have been a fun, a delightful film, but instead we are bombarded with the constant shoehorning of patriarchy and a sense of hopelessness. Director Greta Gerwig appears to be projecting her bitterness in this film, stemming from her divorce, and it easily shows. And this is the next one, although I would argue the rating is very kind, but let's read it. I thought it was a good movie up until the part where they started to kind of bash on the guys, calling them dumb, and show the little girls how to manipulate guys to get what they want. I know it's a plot line, but what if a little boy decides to go watch this movie with his family and shows that they are not that important because they are guys? They add did a small part to tell them to be themselves but I think it got a little bit out of hand also really weird dialogue for a kids movie and this last one although this is kind of ironic because it comes from a woman actually rating this but anyways we'll read what she says it went from light-hearted and fun too deep and emotionally complex not what I was expecting save your money for it to come out on rental so yeah, you can really just tell from a lot of people now there are some backlashes against this film. And to be honest with you, it it really just shows that it, this movie does really have a distorted view of the real world. And I really don't think this movie really solves any problems at all. It's really shocking that, you know, for a movie like this, that it's even targeted for children. And there were children, young girls, and potentially young boys would watch this movie are going to be manipulated with this sort of nonsense, saying that men run the world, they control women, they're abusive towards women, they're, you know, like sexual predators. All this sort of nonsense is really just completely untrue to really what goes on. And it would really be a shame that this is the sort of, re you know, unhinged reality that they are being projected to with this sort of nonsensical propaganda. But that's the problem with this movie. I mean, it kind of would start being like high and fun talk, you know, about Barbie land that they could have made a story about barbie land in the real world without really trying to push any of these political nonsense and narratives completely but instead it projected this sort of view um this is probably one of the wokest movies i have ever seen in my life it's probably one of the most propagated uh, movies ever that really wants to promote gender ideologies or you know gender construct like any of this sort of nonsense and also a way of promoting how evil men are it's really really bad it's a shame that this is the kind of movie that is really trying to be projected for children to watch you know thinking that they're going to be manipulated with this sort of nonsense and it's just it's just a terrible movie i could easily arguably say if you have family and you, you know you have children and you care about your children do not watch this movie this movie is a blatant lie to you and it is what i would describe as a sin to your overall human overall well-being um yeah and that's about it see you later